Come in, come in, my sweet child. Besides helping poor, unfortunate merfolks like yourself, I also like to take some time to enhance my good looks. Hmm, well, I could show you how to look like the irresistible me if you like this video. Have we got a deal? Alright then, doing magic all day can be a little tiring, especially shows on my eyes. So I'm gonna take these eye gel pads by Alchek MD and apply them to depuff and hydrate my under eyes. Now I'm going to take this purple face paint and mix it with the light blue to create the perfect octopus-like skin color. With my foundation brush, I'm going to apply it on my entire face and then once it's even, I'm going to move on to my neck and arms. Next, I'm going to do my brows. I like my brows to look like flotsam and jetsam, very eel-like. Start above the inner corners of your brows and then curve it down almost like an upside down U shape. Right where my natural brows are, I'm going to draw a half circle and these are going to be my eyelids. After that, I'm going to take my bright blue eyeshadow and pretend my face is like a coloring book. So I'm going to take that blue and fill it in right inside that eyelid. Now with a smaller brush, I'm going to apply a generous amount of that blue on my lower lash line. For that empty space underneath my evil brows, I'm going to take this gray eyeshadow and fill it in. To deepen my eyes and make them look like the depths of the ocean, I'm going to take this black eyeshadow and apply that on the inner corners of my lids and my brows. Now to make my eye makeup look more intense, I'm going to use this eyeliner pen by Aurora and I'm going to line it with my steady hand. I also like to use tentacles once in a while and then I'm going to create lash-like effects on the corners of my eyes. Once you're done with the top, make sure to draw some on the bottom because the lower lashes are just as important. Now drag a black eyeliner across the inner rims to make your eye shape look more attractive. My eyes still feel a little empty without false lashes, so I'm going to take these lashes that I made with sea urchins and glue them on my upper lash line. I love red lips, that's what I live for, so I'm going to take my matte Colourpop lipstick and apply it on my juicy lips. After the lipstick, I'm going to draw a giant mole on the side of my mouth. If you don't have it, then fake it honey. Now I'm going to take the Sia Moisture Lip Crayon and apply it over my lips for a nice purple tint. Finally the hair. I like my hair to look as white as polar bear fur, so I'm going to put on this short white wig. And then use Oscar Blondie's Texture and Volume Spray to give it maximum body and volume. To style, sweep the sides back and let the top swirl like an ice cream. On the nails, I'm going to wear this red nail color by Formula X. I love red because it's such a villain color. Last but not least, I can't forget my magical seashell necklace. And that is how you can look like the biggest baddest sea witch in the ocean. Now scurry along so I can help that aerial girl get with her Prince Charming. I hope you guys enjoyed my Ursula transformation. Now don't forget to subscribe and click this link to check out how I remove my makeup.